But I'll leave you with one last story as I send you out. Because again, what we want to do tonight is we want to encourage your dreams. And we also want to create kind of a ripple effect, a reminder of what happens when we give ourselves permission to dream and when we dream with others. And it's interesting, as we do that, it, it's kind of interesting because we hear from a lot of great people. But if you can believe it, we also get hate mail sometimes. Weird, right? I mean, so you're encouraging people to dream and then you get hate mail. And we did a big dream gathering in Topeka, uh, Kansas recently. And um, afterwards, I got an email from a guy. And he basically said, your big dream gathering is stupid. And he kind of went on to explain why it was stupid. And um, he was rather eloquent, uh, wasn't a great speller, but um, was, was rather eloquent and kind of went on and on about why the Big Dream Gathering was stupid. Now, I think my email surprised him, my email back. Because I emailed him back and the first sentence was, I agree with you. Now, I would imagine he read the rest of it. He probably wasn't as happy with the rest of it. But basically what I said was, I said, I agree with you. The Big Dream Gathering is stupid. It's stupid if you don't think it's important for us to give ourselves permission to dream. Right. It's stupid if we don't believe that we should encourage each other to go after dreams. It's stupid if you think that this is a terrible time to be dreaming. It's stupid if you don't think our country needs to be dreaming more now. You're right, it's stupid. But if you do believe that it's important for us to give ourselves permission to dream, if you do believe that it's important to encourage each other and help each other with those big dreams. If you do believe that it's important for our country to be dreaming big, and maybe even more important to be dreaming big now than ever before, then maybe, just maybe, it's not so stupid. And so tonight, what I want to encourage you to do is, I hope you're writing some of your dreams down and taking a stand for some of those dreams, and I hope you continue to give yourself permission to dream, and then I hope you'll also start to get addicted writing, encouraging other people in their dreams, talking with other people about their dreams. Your friends may actually get kind of sick of you asking, so what's your dream? How's that going, right? But I'd love for that to happen. Just see what happens within you, within your friends, as you do that. And as we do that, I think that we, the Big Dream Gathering, Grand View, I think with all of us in here, we can create a ripple effect. I want to inspire people to not only think about their dreams, but to begin to pursue them and encourage each other to do that.